everybody it's old school nerd uh it is historical fact that any prequel is worse than the original true story there's no such thing uh prequels suck they're always worse than the originals but it's falling in reverse maybe they'll break this trend too I know I'm supposed to keep these reactions short and to the point because that's how Ronnie likes it, but unfortunately I can't do that this time because I'm kind of pissed off, okay? Popular Monster finally dropped, okay? It has all the amazing songs that we've loved, video-wise and musically, over the last year or so, okay? And Ronnie's catching so much crap on Twitch or Twitter or wherever he's at because he gets haters no matter what he does. And the thing about it is, is I'm going to say it because he's already said this he didn't make the album for you dick he didn't he didn't make the album for you if you hate this album and you're giving him crap that it doesn't sound like old falling in reverse you're the problem not ronnie you're still listening to radio music on the radio you're way behind the times ronnie realizes that there is music all over the world you cannot sit in a format, in a genre. You have to expand or you die. This album was not written to sell albums. This album was not written to get girls to come to the show. This wasn't an album written for guys to go, Ronnie's the best. This was an album written for him. This is his journey. Every song on this album is self-reflective. You think he's making all this music? For clicks? Well, maybe a little, but that's only because he's so raw about it. So many artists write albums hoping that the record label will like it, hoping that radio stations will play it, hoping that they'll get a Grammy. They're so worried about other people's opinions that it takes away from the fact that it's their art. Ronnie is absolutely the opposite, and so many people hate him for it. Guess what? He laughs at you. I'm laughing at you. I think it's perfect. Now, this is a song prequel. It's another reaction I'm doing. My daughter's not here. She's at work. Here we go. Falling in Reverse prequel. <sighs> the last one we did was All My Life with Jelly Roll. So if that doesn't tell you something, the entire album is self-reflected on his life, guys. That's how an artist works. All right, let's get into this. Three minutes, 54 seconds. Prequel. Terminator reference. Dear diary, dear diary, I've been searching for a higher me. I'm in the sky in the pilot seat trying to stop my mind from spiraling. And that's irony, that's irony. I'm just looking for a resolution. I just want to be a better human, but it's hard when everybody's acting stupid. Pardon me if that came off rude. I just have a bad attitude with the world and not just with you. It's the side effects of abuse. I admit I'm a little strange. I don't think that I'll ever change. I survived a whole life of pain. You could say I escaped my fate. I'm a cynical, egotistical, unpredictable, hard criminal, and I can be a little hypocritical, but I'll admit it straight to your face. I'm unbreakable, irreplaceable, undeniably inspirational. I lose everything I have available to make me the person I am today. This is what happens, Larry. Dear diary, dear diary, I just had another wild dream. I was in a world that admired me, and when I woke up, I was smiling. And that's irony, that's irony. You talk a lot, but you don't even know me. I'm just hoping that my testimony will inspire y'all to stop acting phony. Pardon me if that came off weird. I don't mean to be mean, I swear. I have been through a lot this year. I just want to make a few things clear. I don't like it when people behind my back and not to my face nowadays it just feels so fake so i'll cut the grass to expose the snakes i'm unstoppable it's impossible you don't want to see the diabolical side of me that never stops is volatile so i suggest you stay in your lane i'm unapologetic you know where it's headed i will never ever let up off the pedal i got the spirit of every warrior for me i'm gonna back the fuck up get out my face you're a slave to labor and you pray 
praise the fascists. You kiss the hand that takes half in taxes. Faking outrage and being seen. A generation with no self-esteem. It's time to rise up and stand against them. Break the chains and finally see the vision. We're post-traumatic from a broken system. Follow me into the chaos engine. Ah! It's time to stand. It's time to fight. Don't be afraid to twist the knife. Your sacrifice to break the curse. Prepare to die. Prepare to burn. Abandon hope. It's not enough. Cause all our gods abandon us. Your sacrifice to break the curse. Fight the match. Watch it burn. This is Ronnie pissing off half the world. Okay, have you figured this out yet? Not a single song on this album is like any other song. Okay? Ronnie's doing this. He's not going to make every song sound the same so he can go to his fan base. But there are going to be songs in this album that some people don't like. This might be one of the ones that you may not like, but you'll love All My Life, or you'll love Popular Monster, or you'll love this there's one song on this album you're probably going to love because it makes you think about something that you're dealing with, okay? But then there might be a song that you don't like at all because it, it goes to a subject matter that makes you uncomfortable. Here's the thing. This is Ronnie's life. Ronnie's living in the same world that we are. He's facing the same crap we are, but under a microscope because of who he is. He is a lightning rod nailed to a lightning rod that's in the shape of a cross right now. Now, this video does remind me of Stargate slash Star Wars slash, right? It has those visualizations that make you think about those things, but it's the immensity of the chaotic world. This album is actually two things. It's a window into the world that we live in, while at the same time, it's a mirror into Ronnie's psyche of his life, his experiences. So not all of those experiences and not everything that the world that you see through that window, you're going to like. Some things you're going to relate to. Some things are going to matter. Some people love All My Life with Jelly Roll. Some people can't stand it because they can't stand country or whatever. But that's not the point. The point is, is that this is Ronnie's literal life in every constant variation and possibility. That's what you get when you have an artist who says, there are no limits, there are no rules, let's see how creative I can go. And then he does it. The problem is, the people that don't like it, it's their rules that are holding them back, not Ronnie. That's why I respect the guy as an artist. Do I like everything he said? No, but that's the point. I'm not him, he's not me. But I respect his ability to say exactly what he feels, exactly what he thinks, because that's how it should be. If you're holding back what you say and what you do because you're afraid of what other people are going to think and say, you're the one who's living the half-life, not him. That's the last thing I'm going to say about it. And that's a lie because I always can, can't stop talking. That, that, that's my problem. Ronald, continue. Don't stay up there too long. Bad things happen. Okay, so now when we're talking about prequel, 
Now the video starts doing this, okay, Homelander type powers, remember? And at the end, he comes across the suit. Is this the suit that he wears in his super form in all of his other videos that we've seen? It's possible. Remember, the complexity of what the storyline is what, what, look, you have people that love his music. You have people that love his attitude, with all the crap he does. You love the controversy. Some of the people love the videos and the immensity of the project. If you played the entire, now, I guess it would be one of those things where now, if you go back, now that he's released prequel, if you watch prequel first, and then you go through the different order of, you'd see a different story being told that would tell a complete story. And you'd be like, but you know, it's Ronnie. Um, how many of you, when this part occurred and he started singing the chorus, did you hear when angels deserve to die? Did you hear that a little bit almost? It, it wasn't, it wasn't system of a down, but the progression was kind of going in that melodic progression. And with angels coming down to grab Ronnie, I was like, what? Listen for it. It's hilarious. Just listen for the progression. <laughs> it's not the case, but you know, my brain works a little weird. Okay. My brain goes all over the place. So there you go. All right. So here's Ronnie. Um, what group is he pissing off this time? Ah, probably Judeo-Christianity. But, you know, he's not the first person. I mean, technically, you can go watch any Power Wolf video and be a pissed off like this, so it's fine. Um, so there you go. Um, <laughs> Ronnie Racky doing prequel. So now the origin story of this Homelanderish dark character that turns into a werewolf, destroys the world, watches it burn, and then sings beautiful recreations of Papa Roach songs true story all right everybody that was ronnie racky prequel my name is old school nerd and uh yeah if you don't like any of the things i've said in this video odds are it's okay it's just my thoughts on on what's going on here i know i'm not going to make everybody happy but that's not my job that's your mom's job thanks for watching everybody and if you enjoyed this video give us a like it really helps the channel grow also if you want to subscribe right over there a big thank you to all my Patreons out there for everything you do. And if you want more content like this, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.